Okay, guys, so this month on nocode.ie, how to automate your social media using Airtable. What if I told you you could take a blog post, automatically publish that blog post to your web page, at the same time, automatically create all social media images, and at the same time, again, automatically publish those images to the different social media platforms with a link back to your web page. You're not going to want to miss this one. Hit the subscribe button and watch this. Okay, so step one is to go over to your Airtable login and set up a table within your um, base um, and to call it whatever you like. I've called this one content management system. You'll need a post title. You'll need a blurb being a short synopsis of what your article is. You'll need to add an image. This image is very important for this particular flow. It will form the background of your social media posts and it'll also be the image at the head of or at the top of your blog post on your web page. Um, create elect uh, field here. So this is what's going to actually trigger your automation when you're happy that everything is finalized and you're happy for it to actually go live uh, to your web page. Web page no code.ie is built through softer um, and the actual guides page on no code.ie is, um, is set that it only shows guides that are in the view posted to web page. And when this particular uh, checkbox post to social accounts is checked, it moves that record into the posted to web page view. And that tells Softer uh, to show that guide now on the guides page on nocode.ie. And um, we went through this in depth in the last video series. So if any of that is not clear, please check back on our last on our last series. And um, if you're still stuck, please get in touch with me or leave a comment below and I will answer any queries that you have. Um, you'll need then the actual blog article itself. This is a long field um, text uh, entry within Airtable. So I've already got my article done out there and it's ready to go. Left to do now is to actually produce all of the social media images that I would like to publish to uh, the various social media platforms that we use uh, to tell the world basically about our new blog post or with a link back to the blog post. I don't want to have to go into Canva or Photoshop or some other image editing tool and create, um, you know, three, four, five, six different versions of this particular image. And so that's what this automation is all about. When I run the automation, it'll automatically input um, uh, an Instagram optimized image here. It'll take the picture from this particular field here. It'll layer the title of the of the of the guide over the picture, and it'll also include the blurb. So you can use whatever field you like, and I'll show you in the next step how to actually configure the the, the production of the image and how that works. Um, but for the sake of this exercise, I've taken three pieces, and um, I'll show you now what way that works. Um, also, I only have Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn here. Obviously, whatever other social media platforms you use, it'll be the same logic. You could just add in additional two columns per social media channel that you would like to use, and you leave them blank. It will be filled for you automatically when we look at the next step. When your images then are, are, are brought in, um, the next thing to do is to uh, make sure you're happy with them. And when you're happy with them, you check the box here, and that will actually push them out to your uh, social media channels um, and this last part here then is I, I, I this this video that you're watching here will be populated here and the link to it will be here as well so it's effectively a complete um, flow in terms of all of the content that is distributed with, with regard to the how to automate your social media topic that we're covering here. Okay, next step is if you've not heard of Placid.app before, uh, there is a free trial available and it's what I'm using for the purpose of demonstrating this tutorial today. There are other softwares like this that do a similar type job, but um, this is really more to give you uh, an overview of the types of things that, that can be done. And there are other tools out there that you'll be able to research and find and um, they'll, they'll, they'll do the same job. So if we come into Placid.app, the first thing that you'll need to do is add a new project. Okay, I've already got a project here, social media automation. When you have your project, you'll go in, your project is made up of templates. You'll want to create a template for each social media platform that you are posting or that you would like to automatically generate as part of this automation. 
So we'll just focus on the Instagram one here because it's the same logic for all of them. I have one for Facebook and I have one for YouTube um, in here and it's the same logic. So I'll show you the Instagram one and uh, you can use that logic to apply it to whatever templates you require. The Instagram one is, is the sized at 1200 by 1200. In the templates, you're actually just editing the, 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 out, the, the layout and what way it looks. Um, and then in the next field, we'll be in the next part, we'll be actually changing um, the settings. So we tell it which data to take from your Airtable uh, table uh, to layer over uh, and, and to, to basically produce um, an image in this style or in this layout. OK, so normally what you do is go in there, edit and you can choose your layout. You could move that text around, for example, you could make that text bigger, make that text smaller. I've I've hired to put in um, the no code.e logo here. I don't want that to be a dynamic field. You might want that to be a dynamic field in your business because you might have different logos depending on what side of the business you're producing content for. OK, next step is to go into actions here. Right, so in actions, um, actions are basically whereby you um, match off, write, use, um, use this post title, use this blurb and use this image and place it and um, place the image here, place the title here and place the blurb up on this small text here. And the way you do that is you hit this edit button here, OK, and it'll bring you into this screen here. Yeah, the real key thing here is I always like to name the action title something that means a lot or that is exactly what that action is doing. So in this case, it's create, it's creating an Instagram post. Action interval, I'd always put that as on demand. So that means we maintain the um, the, the, the manual um, nature in terms of when we want it to run as opposed to scheduling it. Um, action webhook, we're not using webhook here, so you can ignore that and just leave it as it is. Next thing, you'll have to tell which uh, Airtable base you're using. So the way to do that is to find your base ID. Uh, there's good documentation within Placid as to where to find the base ID if you're not sure where to get that from your Airtable thing. Um, this part is critical to the overall thing working. It's make sure that your table name matches exactly your table name that you're pulling the information from in Airtable. So what I generally do is right click and hit rename and then I'll hit copy and I will paste that in there so that there's no spaces or typos or anything that can go wrong. Next thing then is to actually match off. So it's asking me, what do I want to go in as the image? Well, I would like the image column, which is this column here. So it's titled image and I have typed in image there. So that is me now telling Placid, hi there, take the picture from this column here and place it in the image which is the background image here okay similarly uh, the subtitle the subtitle is this smaller text up here i wanted to use the blurb um for, for the subtitle the blurb is here so i've taken blurb being the name of that particular column and i've typed it in there and similarly post then title is this larger text here and i would like it to take the post title here and uh, layer it over the image okay so that's a quite a simple example, but you can you get the idea, you get the logic and um, you can you can build all sorts of templates and have it as complicated or as simple as you would like. Um, and the beauty of Placid is that it will automatically um, produce the image and then it will automatically send the image back to Airtable. So when I run this automation, it'll automatically put the image in here with the link to it. So again, similar to the key thing here is to make sure that the title of the column that you would like the output URL and the output image, as in that's now the finished product, um, to which column would you like that to feed in your Airtable base? So it's important that it's just typed exactly as it appears in here. So in this case, it's Instagram post and Instagram post URL. OK, so the final piece of the puzzle is to um, obviously save this and um, close out of it, come back in here. Next thing you're going to need to do is go into apps here and um, install the scripting app into your Airtable base. And there's great documentation in Placid as to how to actually set it up. And um, what you need to do is go in. There's a setup guide here and I put a link to it in the in the description section down below so you can follow that. 
you go into project settings here and it effectively gives you a piece of code to enter into your scripting tool here i'm not going to go into it because it'll actually show my api key and i probably don't want to um, publish that to the world so i won't click into it but it'll show you exactly and again there's a link in the thing below that goes through it step by step as to how to actually do it when you input that code it appears like this now every time you go into the apps dashboard within your Airtable base and it's a button to run it again so this is a manually triggered automation which is probably my favorite type of automation on the basis that I don't like when the system is just doing things um, almost blindly in the background because when you have multiple automations going on it's easy to forget or it's easy to lose track of, of what you have going on here. So it's generally good to have it as a button that, right, I'd like to do this now. So I haven't clicked this now in a while um, and I'm going to run it now live and we'll see, does it produce? I'm, I'm expecting to see an image here being uh, this picture combined with this and combined with this. And I'm also expecting to see a Facebook one and, an, and a LinkedIn one, right? And once that is done, then I'm at the point where I'll probably turn my eye over it. And then at that stage, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna enable the next automation, which is effectively to uh, push it actually to post it to Instagram, Facebook, and and LinkedIn. Okay, so fingers crossed. Here we go. You ready? Hit run. Okay, it's saying it's doing it now. So close out of this, and I'm hoping now something will appear here. So please bear with me. This is the point at which you might go and grab yourself a copy, coffee, and watch um, your automation doing the work that you would normally have done yourself in the past. <clears throat> okay, so there we go. It looks to be working well. Um, it's produced. It's produced everything there. Um, I'll probably just open up the Instagram one and have a look at it. So it looks quite nice. It's, it works and it's working. Um, okay, look, I'm happy with that. I'll probably click into the Facebook one then as well and see everything looks well. Everything looks good there. Okay. <clears throat> now, the next part is uh, to trigger my Zapier automation. You can automate this within Airtable itself using the Airtable automations. Um, I had built this uh, automation before the Airtable automations actually came about. Um, so I was happy. So the last thing I will just make sure to update here is the social image. And the reason I'm doing that is because when you post to Facebook, you're actually posting um, the link to uh, the blog post. And uh, if you don't put in an image here, um, the, 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 the image will generate on Facebook as a no image field. You have to basically tell Facebook which image to show as the social image for the actual uh, link back to the blog post. So all I do here is, and you can probably automate this part, I just have not done it yet, is um, I'm just gonna copy the automatically generated Facebook post and put it into social image uh, field there, right? So the next thing is I'm gonna show you quickly just the two-step um, zap zapier um again this is a two-step simple zap so you can do this on a free plan and um, this video isn't really intended to be a, a zapier overview i'll be doing a future video on zapier and um, so i'll just run through it quickly um and if we hop over into zapier now you will see uh this is well that's the facebook one i was looking at earlier so if we go i'm just going to look at instagram one as the example um and if we go to uh, the Instagram one here, right? So if we go in here, um, you will see that it's basically when there's a new record in a view in Airtable. So what that means is if we go back to Airtable, uh, when I check that box there, it's actually going to move this record into the posted to social media view, which is a view that I set up by clicking into views over here. And I created a new view and um, and name that posted to social media. And similarly, there's a, a view of posted to website, which we discussed earlier. Um, and so that's what triggers the two automations to actually publish the, the content. Um, and all the, the only difference between this view and the main view is that there's a filter on it. I've just clicked into it now. And the filter is basically to say that 
where a post to social media is checked, then bring it into this view. And then what happens is Zapier picks that up as, oh, there's a new record in the view so posted to social media. And so it triggers this action, which is publish the photo to in, in Instagram. Okay. So we just click into it again. I won't go into each of the fields here because it'll show you my API uh, data. But if you go into um, setup action, Effectively, all you're looking to do is you're putting in the Instagram post URL from your base here. So it's going to be your Instagram post URL, which is here. Um, and that's putting that into uh, into Instagram and it'll know what to do with it in terms of creating a post. Um, and then similarly, uh, the blurb then is what I want as the text below my Instagram post. So I might just show you briefly that currently there's no post on um, there's no post on Instagram at the moment, and um, similarly there is no post with regard to uh, the one we've just created. There's nothing on Facebook as yet. Okay, so I'm going to hit uh, publish to social media now. I just have to go back to my main view here. Um, I would generally usually I'm going to trigger the automation now and fingers crossed hopefully it works so here we go I'm going to click this and um, I'm going to go back over into Zapier and I'm going to run the zap manually because on the free plan and um, sometimes it can take um, uh, you know a few minutes it runs periodically as opposed to instantly and um, normally I wouldn't go up bother doing this step I would just check the box and I'd be happy that it'll do it in due course um, and I'll probably just check it on later on in the day. Anyway, here we go. I'll, I'll run the zap. Hopefully this works now. Okay, so it's found one new record. And then I'm going to go on over to Instagram and just see, did it post the post? I will just refresh the page here. And there's our post there. So I'll click into it and see what it looks like. So it's got our follower surface app guide. It's how we created this blog post in Airtable once and produced all related social media. Looks good. Looks like everything posted well. Might as well be the first to like my own piece of contact. I don't know if anybody else does that out there. Anyway, um, we'll come back. The last piece to do now is to trigger uh, the automation to uh, post it to the web page, which we uh, outlined earlier how that is done. I'll just go into the web page now and I'll show you should not be visible as yet and um, this is our web page and if we go into guides at the moment we only have the one guide about how to create a web page and um, so when again i check this it's going to go into the posted to web page view here and then when i go back to the web page and if i refresh this page here and there's my guide there on the web page so that's that, that's it. Obviously, um, you know, it'll take a bit of time to set this up the first time round, but I think you might be able to see the, the time savings that this will generate, um, you know, in terms of once you've written your article, it's a matter of checking a couple of boxes and everything else is done for you and um, so i personally use it in my workflows i find it a great time saver um, and it's sort of it, it it makes you less inclined to procrastinate on the social media aspect of things because you know it, it can just be done in a matter of seconds now and um, so anyway look if there's anything in this video that you, you weren't clear on or if you have any questions or if you have any other uh, things that you'd like to see in upcoming videos please feel free to comment in the comment sections below and um, i would always appreciate a subscribe we're a new channel here and i'm hoping to um produce uh, good good content i'm hoping it's stuff that people are enjoying out there so and um, look please subscribe and i'll do my best to um produce more content like this or um, more in the space of automations and general workflow uh, automations for, for for small business owners out there okay that's it from me I will talk to you soon.